Yeah, I'm making some progress on my electronic mouse trap. Actually, it's electric. It's not really electronic. It's going to have a, I think it's a 6,000 volt uh, transformer on that and everything. So when we get it all done, I'll have a look. I just want to, this is where that plexiglass come in that I was working on the other day here, you know, that stuff there. Um, so when you finally get it done, I'm a, I don't know if I'll catch any mice with it. I've got them all eradicated already, but just in case, well, I will have it ready. Uh, wife's not real fond of having mice around the house. Make her clean up everything afterwards. All right, well, we'll go on back to working on this and keep you posted on it. And this is the electric mouse trap I've been working on. It's where that plexiglass stuff went. And I know this is going to be shaky trying to turn this around. Anyway, it's got a that fall off course. Now then, you got your lid up here, flips it up, put some uh, uh, peanut butter or what have you on that little bolt, that uh, carried bolt there, and then put her back down. And this down here in the bottom is, uh, what do they call it, uh, what do you call that stuff? Uh, hardware cloth. I don't know where they get the cloth part because it's made out of wire. The logic on the thing is if the mouse comes in here to get his peanut butter, he steps on that wire here and he gets up there pretty close. He's going to get dead and come up here and he's going to get a. I don't know if you can see that sizzling or not there. But it's kind of a sizzling situation right there. But I don't know if it hurt him or not. It's uh, warm him up a little bit. It looks pretty hot to me. But anyway, like I said, that's pretty humane because I think it'll just hit him right quick and they're done for. There's some people that bellyache about killing mice, of all things. I mean, I don't know what's with, the, with them. They, uh, you like, uh, you got them things of crapping in your in your utensil drawer and in your food cabinets and everything, and they're nasty. They carry diseases and everything else. Uh, hell, the rats even carry rabies. So anyway, whatever it takes to get rid of them, we don't seem to have any right now in the house, but uh, uh, we did have. This uh, transformer right here is a new one, and I couldn't sell it. Got it on a sale, and it's for a, I don't know, it's a gas heater or a fuel oil heater or some kind of a heater uh, transformer thing, and it does throw a pretty good spark and everything. So anyway, I know this kind of a Mickey Mouse deal here, but uh, there's that it works in the back. You got your wire coming down through there from the hot post over here on this thing going down under coming back up and through there running on them on that deal there and uh, you got your uh, you know hinges right here to hold that I don't want to stick my finger too close to that thing just in case it is more powerful than I think it is they said it's got 6,000 volts but I don't think the watts or anything so it probably won't really it might not even kill a mouse all right that'll be uh, this segment I might uh, Come out here later on and uh, take another little picture in the dark and see if we can see it sparking. Alrighty, uh, thanks for watching. In case I don't get another addition to this little little uh, faulty roll here. All right, have a good day. Well, it's not totally dark out here, but maybe we can get an idea how much uh, spark that thing's going to have. Maybe just a little bit here. Anyway. Yeah, it almost looks like a well. What's that? Sounds pretty good sparks. I don't know what's uh, here's a good while ago it has uh, 6,000 volts. I think I said it's got low watts, but I meant to say it was low amps. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's kind of a demonstration of the way that works. Alrighty then.